watching a movie together and I fell asleep in the same bed as her and all I feel like you know I'm just like cuddling up on my blanket getting all warm and snuggly and then I feel like a like a little poke you know and I like look back to see what it is and she is trying to cuddle me friend uh we have been friends for maybe like a total like two years and i'm really introverted i'm really quiet say to myself if you guys have not watched my video on the art of being alone understanding why i do that why i am the way i am i'm gonna leave a little link right here so you guys can just click that right there but we became friends because she had a really loud personality really roar and aggressive kind of thing and she's just like hey we're friends now i think you're cool and i was like well, uh, all right then. So after a while, we decided to go ahead, you know, we started to sleepovers, you know, girl talk, let's hang out. So we decided to go ahead and we had a sleepover and it wasn't like the first sleepover. It like, a, it like led up to this, but here's when things started to get weird. Went to her house for one of the sleepovers and she had a pretty large room. She had a really big room and she usually shared it with someone else. So there was like a few, there was two beds in there and we were watching a movie together and I fell asleep in the same bed as her. All I feel like, you know, I'm just like cuddling up on my blanket, getting all warm and snuggly and then I feel like a, like a little poke, you know? And I like look back to see what it is and she is trying to cuddle me. Like full on, scooching real close, trying to cuddle and I'm like, I don't, I don't think we, we did that good of friends, are we? She just wanna snuggle up and cuddle me? I don't think. And so that was the first weird sign, and after that, I was just like, um, I went ahead and I just slept in the other bed. She's like, you didn't have to move. I was like, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm tired. You know, the movie's over. I'll just sleep there. And I slept there. In the morning, I went ahead and I was getting dressed. So, like, I didn't have this. So, say I'm getting dressed, put my clothes on. All of a sudden, this is her. I was looking at her. I was like, are you, are you all right? I was like, is there something wrong or anything? And I'm, you know, still getting dressed. And she was just like, I like your underwear. They're cute. And I was like, um, for one, it wasn't even a matching set, bra and panties or anything. They were nothing special about them. And I was just like, huh, it's a, it's a little odd compliment, you know? But I just went ahead and I got dressed. After that, it was time for me to leave. I just went ahead and I went home. Left that alone. And then, here's where things started to become really sketchy and difficult. So she would come over my house and a lot of the time, like I said, she had a very loud extroverted personality and she was very boy crazy. So she was like, hey, let's sneak out tonight. And we weren't too young, it was like high school, around high school, college, but it was just like, I don't wanna sneak out. Cause it's like, we didn't have to sneak out, but because of what she wanted to do, we had to sneak out. So we were like, what? around 16, 17 at the time, and she was just like, um, there's these two guys that really wanna like meet us, I found one for you, and she gave him my number, and he was like texting my phone like on some weird, crazy stuff. Like, oh, hey baby, I really wanna like see you. Yeah, what do you like to wear? And I'm like thinking like, what? Like, who is this guy? No ma'am. So I was like, no, I'm not going with you, I'll just stay here. She's like, fine, I'll go. This girl opens my window, pops the screen out and like jumps and goes like through my window and it was like first floor so she didn't like fall or anything and she's like all right i'll see you later okay the girl did not have like service on her phone she had like wi-fi that she was using texting and facebook for so i was just like i don't know how i'm gonna contact her and she literally just like walked off into the night because she said they were gonna meet her somewhere like walking distance and i was like like after i was like no that's a bad idea she went anyway okay hours went by did not hear from her nothing she comes back in like the middle of the night and she's like oh girl oh my god she was like i had such a good time like let me fix let me fix my scarf Whew. him and his friend blah, blah, blah. i was like you have been missing for a good amount of time. I was like, where where were you exactly, you know? And that was it, she left it at that. And then with that sneaking out stuff, she kept doing it. But then it started to involve me 
a lot more, which wasn't good. So her family was really like um, protective over her. Like they always used to make sure that she was okay. And they thought with a friend like me, I was a good influence. I'd be great for her. So they loved me. They're like, oh, yay, cheer. You're going to hang out with her. And I was just like, oh, little do you know. So she came over one time. And there was this guy that I knew. A lot of the men, like always, let me just go ahead and mention, she liked them older. I'm talking 20 and up older, and we were like 16, 17, okay? I never went, but that's where she wanted to go. So there was this one guy, he was like, I think he was around like 19, he was still older than us, but I knew him, and he was like, yeah, I like your friend, I'm gonna set up with her, blah, blah, blah. So he, she was at my house, and he was like, and all of a sudden she's like, hey, that, you remember that guy that you know? We'll call him William, okay? She's like, so I really like William. I want to go out on a date with him. He's going to come pick me up. Don't tell anybody. And I was like, mm, okay. So she went ahead and left because I was just like, at least I know William. Like, this is none of my business, whatever. He came and picked her up. And they were supposed to go out to eat. So they like went to a restaurant and everything. And then it started to get like really late at night. And I didn't hear from her. And I kept like messaging her. And I was like, um, hey girl, like where, where are you at? Where, where did you go? And then she never replied. And then the guy got a hold of me and texted me. He was like, yo, where did your friend go? He was like, she said, you know, she wanted to do some things after we like went out to eat and that she'd get us a hotel. She did have money on her. She brought a lot of money that day and she like showed it to me. And he was like, so she said, we're going to go ahead and go out to eat. So after we went out to eat, um, I took her to a hotel, she went inside, never came out, and whenever I went and asked the desk about her, they said that, that she wasn't there. And I was freaking out, didn't know what happened to her, I'm calling, texting her, I'm like, she, if she is at that hotel, she has Wi-Fi to text her, call me back, like, what is going on? I'm worried about her, her parents start to call me. And the lies she told me to tell her parents were that her cousins picked her up. And I told her parents that, and they were like, she doesn't have any cousins, or oh my god, that awful cousin, and I'm like, I don't know, she'll, she'll be back, she's fine. And finally, like, I'm worrying about her all night. Morning comes. And she calls me. She's like, oh, my God, girl, I had the best sleep. I'm like, where the hell are you? Why have you not called me? Like, what are you doing? He said that, you, like, he can't find you. You, like, disappeared from the hotel. She's like, ah, ah. I, she's like, I was playing him. I didn't want nothing after that dinner. She said that she went inside the hotel, got a room for herself, for the night and then told the person the desk receptionist that hey this guy keeps trying to look for me if he comes in here please tell him that i'm not here tell him you don't know anybody by that name and that's what the receptionist did and i didn't even know i was like hmm i almost said her name <laughs> i was like susan what it, like you were wild like what she's like don't worry i'm on my way home I'm like well your parents called she's like oh they'll be fine that's how i knew something was off that's how i knew she was a little crazy after that this is when like our friendship started to like unravel because then it would be like a lot of calling me, a lot of texting me, always Facebook messaging me. Who are you with? If I had other friends or other best friends, she'd be really mad and be like, my best friend, my this. You'd be like, oh, you're hanging out with this person. Like it became really weird. And it was always like, hey, Ali, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you're with her. I'm your best friend. And she would say that so many times. Like people would come up to me and be like, hey, best friend. She'd be like, I'm her best friend. Like she was very, very aggressive about it. And I was just like, there's enough best friends for everybody. But after that, so the thing that like really brought the pigs back. So with the boyfriend that I had at the time, she came over, we were all hanging out because she's my friend, you know, I wanted my boyfriend to like meet her. And we're hanging out, we're having a good time. And then all of a sudden, like it was like, it wasn't even good time. I don't even know if there was a good time, but she asked to have a threesome with me and my guy. When he's with me, when, like we're all just together. She's like, yeah. Did she really just ask that? You know how disrespectful that is? Including when we never talked about anything like that. She knows I don't do that. I'm simply one and done, jealous AF. And that's what, that's what we do? I was so mad. Like after that, I tried to play it cool. She had to go that night. She left, she had to go. I was just like, yeah, and then she like after that she like um, was texting me telling me like how cute he was and stuff and I was just like oh honey no and then after that we started we like got over them we were still friends and she came to my house one day so mind you this is scary I was in the shower you know and then I got out the shower hopped on out 
and then all of a sudden the lights went out so I hopped out you know I put my towel on I hurried up and I'm like looking like I'm listening because the whole power went out and I'm listening and I did not get out the bathroom door because I didn't know who it was and all I hear is Allie, let's play hide and seek I'm naked I was like this bitch is crazy. Did she turn the lights off in my house? And then she came like to the crack of the door and I opened it to see like if she was joking and the girl was butt naked. I was like, oh no, go put some clothes on. Like we, we shut that down real quick. And then like after that, so it turns out she went to like the power box, like the box in the house, not flip the light switches off, went to the power box that was in the back of the house and cut all the power off. I was like, oh no, you're an extra type of crazy. And after that, like our friendship started to like die down for all of these reasons and probably more. Oh, and when we were at school, tell you what, she had attitude problems and she fought a teacher. She literally fought a teacher and got um, suspended and kicked out of our school. So that's when we started like just hanging out a lot more because we couldn't see each other at school. That girl was crazy and then do you guys want to know how this story ends you know i won't even go into details but the girl you know i told you she liked to kick it with some older fellas um she ended up committing a crime i won't say what the crime was she ended up committing like a crime and literally having to spend two three between one and three years in jail like she went to jail and I tried to contact her while she was in there because I was like, I don't want to be that person. Like you're in jail, you have nothing, you have nobody. And I tried to call her. Well, I didn't try to call her, you can't call me here. But I gave like someone close to her, like a family member, like my number. I was like, give this to her so she's like able to call me. And she never called me. So I don't know if they ever gave her my number or not. And I think like she might be out now, but that was the end of that there and that was my crazy ex best friend that was digging me and liking older men and sneaking out and lying oh and she loved guns it was it was a lot but if you guys enjoyed the story don't forget to like subscribe and comment my next story that you guys requested is going to be the time that i was stalked by this psycho guy he was ex-military everything i might even like insert i won't put his picture in there i'll put like part of him in there because his physique and everything about him was really creepy really scary that'll be in my next video make sure to stay tuned turn those notification bells on guys what are you waiting for we got good content coming in and we ain't stopping have a good amazing day such as yourselves don't forget that i appreciate you and your existence matters